And we begin here at 530 with Michigan State Police investigating sexual abuse allegations involving the former speaker of the Michigan House of Representatives. The investigation comes after Chatfield's sister-in-law filed a complaint with Lansing Police. In that complaint, she claims the abuse went on for more than a decade. Grant Herms is live tonight with more details of what's in that complaint. Grant? Sandra Kimberly, the details on this right now are sparse, but what we do know is deeply troubling. These allegations coming at a man who used to be the most powerful Republican in the state. Michigan's former Speaker of the House, Lee Chatfield, under investigation for allegedly sexually abusing his sister-in-law for more than a decade. According to reports, the investigation confirmed by Michigan State Police stretches back 12 years from when the woman, now 27, was just 15 years old while attending Northern Michigan Baptist Bible Church and its sister school. Chatfield was a teacher, men's soccer coach, and athletic director during his time there. The alleged abuse continuing until July of last year. In a statement today, Michigan State Police saying the Lansing Police Department referred a complaint to MSP investigators in our 7th District earlier this week, and it's under review. We have no further information to share on this matter at this time. Questions about the specifics of the allegations should be referred to the complaint's attorney, and we do not disclose the details of complaints made by complainants. Chatfield was elected to the State House in 2014 and was the youngest person to serve as State House Speaker in 2019 in more than a century, leaving office after he reached his term limit. After leaving office, he went to work as the CEO for Southwest Michigan First, an economic development group out of Kalamazoo. He left that job last February after a controversy over his past stances opposing LGBTQ rights. Local 4 did try to reach the attorney for the alleged victim, but did not get a call back. And we were also unable to reach Chatfield today, but late this afternoon, we got a statement from his attorney who sent us this. Mr. Chatfield is innocent of the false rape claims made against him. He had affairs while he was married, including a sexual relationship with the woman who is now claiming she was raped. Their affair lasted for years, but they were both consenting adults. Mr. Chatfield deeply regrets the decisions he has made. It has caused great pain to his wife and family, and they are working through this together. But he did not assault this woman in any manner during their years-long adult relationship. He intends to vigorously fight these false claims. I'm still to see where this goes as the investigation goes forward. Grant Herms, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Grant.